Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. That song actually already put me in the mood to dance. And I have someone who probably would be able, I could see her already moving to the beat. You know, we teased her earlier. She is a world record breaking dancer, a fitness enthusiast, a choreographer, an amazing all round wife and mom who happens to be celebrating her wedding anniversary today. Please put your hands together for Cafe. Thank you. First of all, happy wedding anniversary. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you so much for that. How many years have you been married for now? Five years. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> Congrats. Hmm. You, you have quite a larger than life character. Uh, yeah. You're a pioneer when it comes to uh, breaking the boundaries and making dance a profession. Yeah. At what point did you realize that, you know, what, I could do this for a living? Or did you realize your passion for dancing? Well, my passion for dancing started off way in primary school. Then I, I, I attended Chrisland, and Chrisland there was like top notch school ever since mm -hmm. in the 80s where everything is added on to what you learn in school. So I just wanted to be everything, every, anything extracurricular, I'm part of it. Yeah. So I'm part of Igbo Club. For Igbo Club, <laughs> I run, I change, I'm in Yoruba Dance Club. Yeah. <laughs> I go into the ballet, you know, I'm also um, a girl's, you know, girl's guide, you know, I do, I'm the brownie, I'm just everything activity, I'm just finding myself in. But dance was one that stood out like kept on being there, but nothing prepared me for planning it as a career, like a career change, nothing. It was just life dealing its own hand, and I was just um, trying not to be a victim of the circumstances I found myself, and believing that, you know what, if this doesn't work, this gotta work. Yeah. Something, I need to be known for something before I die. And but, whatever but looking is, back, absolutely yeah. no regrets. No with way. The choice. Yeah. No way. Okay, I was privileged to hear a story you shared yeah. with me a while ago about the yeah. challenges you encountered when you decided you want to be a dancer. I yeah. think I'll put you on the spot. Hmm. Tell us about that story. Oh, which one is it? <laughs> um, my story of my life is a lot. Uh, it's something about you? disowning, getting. Oh, yes. okay. You know, it is usual. It's it's mm. an African community, and it's even double dose when it's even a Muslim family. So yeah. dancing as a choice of doing <laughs> work is not even something that they feel you are saying mm. about thinking of going into. But I, I just wanted to challenge the fact that I don't want to be put in the box of what determines success in life. True. You understand what I'm saying? I believe that every human being was made by God to be great. So whatever you, you endeavor to be, you just need to be and let the, leave the rest to God. So with dance, I just was rebellious in a way whereby I wanted to prove that it can take me somewhere. So there's family meeting all the time, you know. Mm -hmm. You are kneeling down there like this. And like, look up. No, look down. Yeah, are you looking at me? No, sir. No, I said, do not. Yes, sir. And you're like, and before you know it, I'm this all you, this father you, this continue you. Okay. You understand? So I was without family support for a while. And um, after the Guinness World Record, the next thing, my daughter. Mm. <laughs> I'm very proud of you. More and you, you know what made it hard for her back then? I mean, yeah. you've broken the glass ceiling for a lot of people. They can yeah. point to you. Yeah. Like if I have a daughter and oh, and I say, oh, you can't dance. Yeah. She would look and say, look, Kathy's doing it. She's that internationally is, known. I'm, I'm under but that you pressure. didn't have <laughs> those examples to point out. You were one of the pioneers. So yeah. For me, it was a bit difficult because I didn't... Like, I wish to tell a lot of young um, dancers that I teach now, I train, or I get in contact with that. You people are lucky. When you guys have troubles or you have problems when it comes to dance, you can come to me exactly. or bring your, you know, you're like a mother hen. When, you, when you're dealing in the arts, you don't just deal with them from the angle of their technical abilities. For them to even be good at what they're doing, you need to enter their mind. So you are, mm. you, you are taking in a lot of information about what's going on in their lives. So I'm like, I wish I had, you know, somebody that I could run to, learn from, or whatever. I'm only getting to absorb knowledge from different parts of the world or, you know, an environment. So it was a bit difficult for me, but I'm happy where we are now. Yes. You understand? Know, so now great. mothers are bringing their kids to us to say, ah, this one, a dancer. They're not even afraid. Before it to be, just teach them dance so that they can get confidence. And well, now it's, I want her to be a dancer. So that's good. I'm happy you mentioned mothers and family. Yeah. You have a lovely husband, two kids. Yes. And when people see you, they say, no, it's impossible. How do you do this? Yeah. You have a tight schedule. I was looking at your project coming up. Yeah. Oh, you'll be in Ghana. You'll be back in Nigeria, different cities. How do you manage the home front? How do you manage to merge professional work and family? God. That's, that's okay, that's your husband. Yes. 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 You've taught him a few dance moves. <laughs> he can dance. He used to be a dancer. Okay, back in Unilag, but in his mind, Sha. 
It was fine, he feels he can <laughs> dance. But he has a good you know, body muscular coordination. In fact, mm -hmm. he's even a drummer, I mean, a producer. So nice. he, he knows how to coordinate himself, but he's not just striving. No, 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 you, you are the, you are the grown no, he's not trying. Papa <laughs> J, don't try me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. So for me, I think the balance comes from, from God, really, because there are a lot of challenges, especially when your marriage is young. This is the, this is the, I think the first few years are the, the, the year you're, you're allowed to metamorphosize into, you know, you, you're changing into becoming that those, um, the personality that is required to maintain and the sustain, phrase, yeah. sustain yeah, a, a marriage institution. It's not overnight. It's not always buttercups in the tummy or butterflies in the tummy situation. But it's a, there's a sense of belonging with that person that just keeps you going regardless so of nice. what it is that you go on. In terms of work and home, I love my home. I love my family. I love my work. Love balances it for me, but God sustains it. God allows me to have the energy. I don't even know how I do it. You know, mm -hmm. some people, trust me, people ask me this question, where do you get energy from? I do not know. And I don't want to know. As long as God keeps giving it to me, I just, I, I, it just needs to be, it's the source of my energy. So let it ride on. Wow. Well, Fantastic. I, I wanted to know, there are many people who think, you know what, I can't allow my child to go and dance. <laughs> Thank God it's starting to change because you yeah. broke the ceiling for a lot of people. There's still some people who think, my child cannot wake up tomorrow and say you want to be a dancer. Yeah. What does dancing do for you? Yeah. So imagine that I'm one of such parents. What yeah. would you say to me? What I'll say to you is this. It's not about the, the career or the job description of your child. It's about the personality behind the job. Because it, your child is a doctor, doesn't it, does it mean that he will be a good one? Mm. Does it mean that he will not have malpractice lawsuits against him? Does it mean that he will not be promiscuous? Do you understand? If your daughter is working in an accounting firm, hello, we know what targets some of these ladies are put under in the financial institution, and they are made to do a lot of horrible things too. So there is no protection from what life will deal. True. What regardless you, of profession. Yeah, yeah, so regardless of profession, what you need to ensure is that you are training your child. Train the child in the ways where you want him to go. He will never forget it. That's what, that's what helped me. I faced the pressures of the entertainment industry, but I remember when my mama, they talk. Do you understand? You remember those warnings? You remember all those teachings? You remember those things at home that you don't want them to see you as? And because I am under pressure to prove them wrong, I cannot afford to... It, it keeps to, you grounded. Yeah, it yeah. keeps you grounded. So the parents should trust um, the fact that they are training of their child and allow them be... In fact, the earlier you can discover what it is that they have the potential to be great at, the better for you to invest in that thing rather than plan in your mind that he has to be, he has to be a doctor. Because I've seen someone mm. with an amazing um, um, doctorate degree, as in if she passed out with, you know, all the highest, you know, grades and honors, but she ended up baking and had like one of the biggest baking. I am supposed to be yeah. a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And that yeah. is what is funny from, she built a house from baking, you know, she became, some, some people became fashion That's designers. Now imagine those years that she has wasted in the medical field. I won't say waste, but I wish that amount of years was put in yeah. the baking. And she probably will have the biggest culinary school in Africa by now, Very or even true. in the world. So let's not, let's not be afraid to let our kids shine with what they already have. At this point, if I were to be one of those mothers, I think I'd be fully convinced <laughs> that I should bring my child to your she's dance workshop, which is coming up soon. <laughs> Tell us about your dance workshop. Yeah, the dance workshop uh, is called The Dance Workshop, like on my t-shirt. Yeah, the, the Dance, dance workshop. <laughs> the workshop. For me, it's a platform uh, for information, information, motivation, and education. What we're trying to do is instill in the young people, that's the big picture, instill in the young people the idea, their entrepreneurial um, uh, acumen and idea of being a youth in, in this country. I think this country has a huge percentage of young people, a very high percentage of young and, people. And that's an advantage. It's an advantage and it can be a disadvantage if they don't know what to do with their mm -hmm. lives. You understand? Everybody has excuses. I've, I've worked, trained with young people that they are always having excuses about home front, what is going on in their life, victim of this, victim of that, but they fail to understand how to empower themselves. So what the workshop is doing is I'm using dance now as that tool to reform the mind and say, this is serious business. Whatever form of talent you've got, 
Take it seriously. This is how to guide yourself from the business angle. These are the tools you need to be a businessman or a woman or be a brand. You can be a brand out of anything, even a shoemaker. You can be a brand True. out of making shoes. So we are now inviting different kind of facilitators in different aspects of the industry and economy to come in one uh, one spot and teach to these young dancers or artists or entrepreneurial, you know, some kids already have the mind to be entrepreneurs, but they don't still have some of the guidance. And they're going to talk money. They're going to talk branding. They're going to talk so the best just, use of It's a whole, it's it's a whole yeah, and then you still dance. You still learn uh, the art of choreography from from me, from, you know, invited people as well. So it's well-rounded at, at, the, at the end of the day. So tell us what cities, I mean, is this going to be and what's the age group? Uh, the youngest is five. The oldest can be 85. My great grandmother. Because <laughs> the last time I did a camp, the, we had a 69 year old woman who participated in everything. Fantastic. Wow. She came with her granddaughter. I was like, my granddad would not do this, and I would not. We are doing nice. everything together. I will be that kind of grandma. Exactly. So she was there. So I, I opened it up because I think life is about living it to its fullest. We shouldn't we shouldn't create an, an age range for living life. We should allow ourselves to just live. And if uh, dance excites you, music excites you, find yourself mixed up in the... So it's um, Lagos. It's, we start in Ghana. It's straight into Abuja, uh, Ibadan, Lagos, then Port Harcourt. How do we get more information about this and uh, registration process? Okay, um, pretty simple. We you go follow me on Instagram on the social media um, at Kathy Dance. You get information mm -hmm. on it, and also the dance workshop handle at TDW underscore Africa. You get it. The workshop is just three thousand naira in Nigeria, and it's fifty Ghana in Ghana and thirty Ghana for students with ID. All right, and there are also Good. people who want people who want to sponsor can pick a yes, number. Yes, people students. sponsor dance. People have been doing that tremendously because I realized that not everybody might be able to afford this situation, and this is the first of the kind where you have an event, and the event producers are reaching out to people to even sponsor people to come yeah. yes. to to the event. Yeah. All right. So remember, you can be a part of this, or if you know someone who should be a part of this. Talk to them about it, and if they cannot afford, do something nice. Sponsor one, two, three, ten, I mean, fifteen, it's, twenty it's people. Quite, it's quite affordable. Yes, it is. Yeah. Exactly. So follow Kathy on Instagram at Kathy Dance. That's K A F F Y Dance, or you can follow the group D Dance Workshop. That's T D W underscore Africa for more information. In ten seconds, what would you say is the highlight of your career? Which of the dance performances you've danced with P Square? You've danced with tons of people. Which would you say has been the highlight? Sierra. Sierra. Sierra, fantastic. And right now, and take before a... she goes, one more question. <laughs> it was Throwback Thursday yesterday. Yes. Do you remember your first music video? Hmm. It has to be between Baby Skeske and Adewala Yuba. One of the two. Uh, Lexi one of the two because Baby Skeske. Skeske. Yeah, it's I one of the. I remember that song. Yeah, like there's mm -hmm. oh, um, Ijo Fuji, uh, Adewala Yuba, uh, because I, I shot that video around the same, like the same week or something. It's so. a long time ago. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure having mm. you. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.